What's going on friends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some jobs around the homestead and taking a little trip down to our local river for an epic picnic. Thank you Everfun for sponsoring this video. Welcome back to the homestead. I've got the tool belt on, which means we're gonna get down to business today. But first, let's take a moment and appreciate how nice the back of the garage looks now that it's actually the same color as the rest of the garage and the house. For some reason, when we bought this place, um, the garage was three quarters of the way painted, but this back wall and the side wall were not. Funnily enough, the only photo that you saw of this garage only showed the painted part. Anyways, it's finally painted. It looks a lot better. We still have to redo this door. We'll scrape all that paint off and, uh, and get some new paint on there. But before we do that, there's something bigger that needs to happen. And it's something I've been putting off for a while. Let's go. Here he comes. The friendliest sheep in the world. Rooson. Yeah. What's up, Rooson? Hi, Rooson. Man, you need a haircut, bro. It's been raining so much down here lately. But here's what we gotta do. This shed, farm implement shed, extremely neglected. We did our best to turn it into a nice storage area for our firewood as well as the caravan. It needs a lot of love, this building. We'd like to keep the sheep out of it so that we don't have to keep cleaning, you know, sheep poop out. So we're gonna use these leftover fences which our neighbors have so graciously gifted us. We're going to install them on this section and then also on that section. So essentially, in this episode, we're gonna be poop proofing this building, let's get to work. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these, which are called gudgeons. It's another fun word that we're learning. A gudgeon. It sounds like something from Dungeons and Dragons, maybe. Look out, the gudgeon is coming. Essentially, these are like what you mount the fence to. So we're gonna be mounting these to poles, and then we'll get the fence on. But since the fence is a little bit too big, we'll have to cut it and this section will be sealed off from Wilson, but then also give us access when we are loading and unloading firewood because we want to fill this place up with the next season's firewood. So, um, <laughs> Wilson is like right here, just like rubbing himself, making strange noises. Let's get to work. You can see what I mean. Wilson and all the other sheep really love it inside the shed. But this is a workspace and I don't want the sheep in here. I started by screwing two large screws into the vertical studs as they had become loose over the years and they need to support the weight of the gate. Then I popped out my handy fold out ruler and measured the distance between each mounting bracket to make sure I installed the gudgeons at the right distance so the gate could sit properly on them. I measured twice as I've noticed it's easy to mismeasure if you only do it once. Let's make sure that this is flush. Now the gates don't look all that flash because this is a short term solution with recycled materials, but I am gonna get new gates and make this look nice and proper. All right, sweet, that works. I wish it didn't look so lopsided, but <laughs> doesn't need to look totally perfect. The next step was to block off the back entrance to the back side of the shed. Since I didn't have timber to screw into on the left side, I dug a piece of timber in and then I screwed it into the back side of the stud on the opposite wall. Once I got the back fence built and the other gate installed, I hammered together a couple of makeshift fences and we let the sheep back into the paddock. Also, I have an audience. Hey, what are you looking at? Huh? All 
All right, well, we needed a little break from work on the homestead, so we've come down to our local river with my ever-fun cooler backpack fully loaded, and we're gonna have a little picnic. So this ever-fun cooler backpack is the perfect companion for outdoor activities. If you wanna bring food and drink and have a picnic, or just get outside and have something to eat, this backpack is perfect for it. It's also designed ergonomically for a comfortable fit. With a super padded back panel and double padded mesh straps, so it's comfortable to wear even when it's fully loaded with 30 cans, letting you carry enough for family and friends. It's got thickened insulation, which provides over 20 hours of heat or cold preservation. Plus, it has a little bottle opener built into the bag. It's also built to be leak proof, water resistant, and it's got an antimicrobial interior that's easily cleanable. So check it out for yourself by clicking the link in this video description. So how is Ramsey? He's supposed to be weeding, but as you can hear, He's not ready for it. <laughs> I've already started weaning him, so he's only on like, at most 250, maybe 300 mil a day. He used to be at like 600, uh -huh. so now I've halved it, and I think it's honestly because his little pal in here is still eating, I feel bad to um, not be feeding him as well. Yeah. Um, our neighbor is still feeding her lamb, and um, it's about time for them to be. <laughs> okay, you two, be on your best behavior. All right, buddy. The time that you do not enjoy. For some reason, and let me know if your dog is like this, but his least favorite part is the towel. And then he kind of turns into like a wild bull and I'm a matador, like he'll run straight at the towel. And when we let him off of this leash, he's gonna be gone for like perhaps a half an hour of just sprinting. You gotta make sure that the door is closed for the house cause he'll go straight into the house and he'll run around and just, he gets the zoomies real bad after. But first, he's gonna have a shea butter conditioning spray. In case, in case you were wondering, yes, Lanka is the softest. So soft. All right, are you ready? ready? And he's off. Oh. We took advantage of the sunshine and decided to wash our caravan and our car. The caravan had been stored all winter in the shed and some nesting birds had decided they wanted to add to its paint job. We had to remedy that. I've been shot! Oh God! Oh, stop it! Evil. She's evil. I'm only doing because you did it to me. Uh-huh. The hard part about living in the country is keeping your car clean because when we wash this, we will leave our home and immediately get onto a dusty, dirty road, and then the car is instantly dirty again. Okay, well, we have gotten quite wet in the process, but it's all good. We've dried out and we have a clean car, a clean caravan, and a clean slate. A little bit of spring cleaning, getting us ready for adventures in this thing this summer. Can't wait, it's so fun to travel in the caravan. And there's so much more of this country for us to explore. So, great way to, uh, to see the great outdoors here in New Zealand 
There's so much freedom camping and then there's all these great little caravan um, campgrounds all over the country. So super stoked to get that back on the road, back in working order and uh, ready for adventures. But there's still more to do. Let's go. Okay, it's a little bit later on in the day and now we're in the office and we're about to record a new episode of Soul Sugar Podcast. So if you didn't already know, Carrie and I do a podcast. It's weekly. It's called Soul Sugar. You can find it on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts from. And uh, it's fun. We're really enjoying it. So if you haven't given it a listen, check it out. I'll link it down in the video description. What's this episode about? We're talking about cozying up the home. So different things that you know, the definition of cozy, we're gonna chat about that and then we're just gonna talk about all the things that make it cozy. We talk about something different every week. It's normally of like self growth stuff and just conversations. We always do updates, but it's fun because we dive deeper into conversation more than anywhere we are. So if you think you know Alex on YouTube, you, you're gonna get to know him more on the podcast. <laughs> Let's go. After recording the podcast, I headed back outside to finish painting the exterior of the sleep out. It was the final touch for renovating the outside of this building, which we feel has so much potential. Well, friends, we did it. We have successfully painted the sleep out. The sleep out has been a recurring theme, recurring topic here on this vlog, uh, and it's not done. It's not even close to done, but it's getting a lot closer, and half the battle is how it looks. And right now, it looks pretty good. It doesn't have bird poo all over it. Got a fresh coat of paint, and it's amazing what a fresh coat of paint can do. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and stay tuned because there's a lot more to do here on this homestead, and there's a lot more adventures to be had in the big wide world. So, with that, I'll say goodbye. Have a great day. Peace.